When I was 12 years old, I got exposed to pornographic material. And when I was 15, I had my first encounter with a prostitute. I started using drugs, I started drinking, I started smoking. When I entered college at 17 years of age, I joined the fraternity and because of the exposure to that fraternity, I got more into drugs, more into sex, and included violence because we would often go into rumbles and bar fights. Because of my continuous drug use, I started flunking and dropping my subjects at the university. After college, I went back to Manila, after which I set up my own company. And this is the time I started earning real money, a lot of money. And um, because of the money that I had, I started partying, going to high-end clubs and KTVs. My drug use um, came back and became worse and worse. I combined heroin with cocaine, with shabu, hashes, and it allowed me to hallucinate. And I was seeing visions of demons laughing at me. I got so scared that I went out of the room, I went to the toilet and splashed water on my face. And uh, I was so scared, I prayed the Lord's Prayer. It was the only prayer I knew, actually. And then I asked Jesus to save me from the hell that I was experiencing. And then suddenly, another drug buddy of mine grabbed me by the collar and we drove off, going home. And that was the time I realized that Jesus really saved me. When the construction boom, I went back to Manila. And this is when I was invited to attend my first Bible study. The one who invited me was a former drug buddy of mine, who is now a pastor in CCF Center. Here I understood what Jesus did for my life. This is the time when I accepted Him as my Lord and Savior. But that doesn't mean that my life has changed 100%. I had an opportunity to work in the United States for three months. This is where I stopped reading the Bible. I also met here another uh, a Philippine American who was at the front desk of the hotel where I was staying and um, I was back to that sinking ship of sexual immorality. And on my flight back home to the Philippines, I was crying and crying and crying because I knew I hurt the Lord. And then I surrendered my life there through a prayer that I made. Now I've been 10 years free from sexual immorality, free from smoking, free from drinking. And now it's 16 years that I'm free from drug use and gambling. Now I serve as the head of the Next Gen Ministry with my wife at CCF BFOs. True hope comes from Jesus Christ alone. Salvation is by grace through faith in that alone. It's not of your own efforts that you can get out of what problems you're in right now. It's only through Jesus Christ. My name is Jet Kalosing and this is God's story in my life.